it's um Shelly from HR. From HR, okay. Me? No, I don't remember you, but what's going on? Well, we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about your absenteeism and tardiness. Okay. Do you know what time you have to be clocked in at work? What the fuck? Hi, excuse me, ma'am? Can I help you? Hi, how are you? Oh, no, thank you. Just charging my car. I see that, but this is my house and it's my charger that you're using. I know. It'll be like 20 minutes. The more I learn about the Chase Money glitch, the more pissed I get. See, last night I did some research and saw how it works. All it is is people depositing checks that they wrote with their own name, address, and their account information and deposit it. Now, basically what happens is if you're in good standing with your bank, it will credit you just the funds, right? And then they verify it and then they go ahead and put money in your account. But this situation, the verification method didn't work. Hey. Is, that my mic? Is, is the mics on? Is the mics on? The mics are on. The mics are on. Wait a minute. Are they turned up? No. Turn, 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 turn my music up. Turn, turn, turn my music up. up. Uh, 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 no, no, this no. your podcast, this man. This podcast. <laughs> we in the building. We in the motherfucking building, man. Let me put that thing on right there. That T right there. This <laughs> All right. Look at the ball right there. Man, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Summer's <laughs> over. Cuffing season coming up. Y'all better get y'all resumes hey, together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, right, get that little, you know, get that little, yeah, get that little, yeah, right there. Look, Boy. hold up, Lowe's been getting his resumes together before summer even ended. Ain't that, ain't that the truth? Say, <laughs> hey, I was, I was all year with it. Said, Don't let me relapse on y'all, that's why you gotta stay ready. Yeah. <laughs> hey. This your podcast, man, another episode 115, 115th episode, y'all. We ain't doing a damn thing, man. Move it out here. Before we get started, T, where can they find us at, T? Come on now. Y'all sure know this. I'm going to keep reminding you. Yes. You want to yeah. find us on YouTube Music. Uh -huh. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm represent YouTube first because we on YouTube, YouTube right yes. now. Yes. Okay? So yes. they cut you the can checks. also find us on Amazon Music, uh -huh. Apple Podcasts, uh -huh. iHeartRadio, uh -huh. okay. Pandora, uh -huh. and Spotify. Spotify. That's what I'm talking about. So make about, sure y'all right? go follow this join on all those all those platforms. That's right. You heard the lady. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I, what, what, what what do you think, bro? You heard the lady. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, yes. That's what I'm talking about, man. I've, I've earned that respect now. Yeah. See, I, I taught them well. Oh my <laughs> god. <goodness. laughs> you know I gotta talk some crap. Come on now. I'm to go with you. <laughs> I give him some grace. It's not even Women's Month. Women's History Month. We just try. You know what I mean? Hold up. Here uh, she go. It's Women's Month every day. Of course. <laughs> uh, where's the cricket? Oh, come Did on. I hit the cricket, should I hit the cricket button on her? No. Where's the selfish button? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to another where's episode the of This Your Podcast. Button? That's, that's what I was doing. I was playing. So, where's the I'm playing button? I was just a joke. Mm, okay. Hey, okay. Like I said. See, you know what? Now, man, as you come in, make Whatever. sure you drop a like, drop a comment for the algorithm yes, to pick sir. us up and yes, sir. just get these likes up. God yes, damn. Subscribe. Get them up. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm ready to get this thing here started. Okay, go ahead. Now, man, so what we got video. Uh, modern women. Oh, God. What? I'm coming oh, at your modern women right here. Uh -oh. You know what I mean? I got something for you. Okay. Oh, let, me, let, 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 me get, let me get it close because, you know, sometimes modern women can be hard headed. Mm hmm. Not sometimes. Yeah, damn. <laughs> really? Just like a black woman. <laughs> yeah. Modern women. 20 things that every modern woman should know when dealing with a man in 2024. Okay. Okay. Let's see and beyond. Let's well, I'm about to, because I was about to say, uh, 2024 about to be over soon. So what about 2025? We, we That's gotta, why I said and beyond. We got to get, you got to you know get I mean? there first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, ready to skip it. We yeah. got to, you know, we need it now, right now. Yeah, we got to get through 2024 right. first. All right. All right. Look, I'm just trying to help them prepare. That's all. Yeah, because you know, you know how y'all women, y'all women can be hard heads. Y'all men can be hard heads. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> deflection, <laughs> deflection. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's this Storm Podcast. Aww. Let's go. Because the fact is, it hits different when a woman says it. So here we go. Number one, 
Every man should not be able to access you at all hours of the night. Number two, a man is not responsible for your daddy issues. Number three, a woman having a lot of male friends is a turn off for a man. Number four, a man's value goes beyond his wallet and status. Number five, if you want a traditional man who pays all the bills, you have to be a traditional woman who submits. Number six, mind games are not cute. It's stressful and it turns him off. Number seven, prioritize your relationship like you do your career. Number eight, your self-worth should be self-made, not man-made. Number nine, respect his need for space as much as you do your own. Number 10, relying on a man to validate your emotions is not empowerment. Find your own emotional independence. Number 11, your beauty attracts him, but your traits will keep him. Number 12, never compare your man to any other man. Number 13, men fight battles too. They just don't talk about theirs. Number 14, say what's on your mind. Mind. He's not a mind reader. Number 15, acknowledge the little things he does for you. Number 16, respect the privacy of your relationship. Number 17, don't say you forgive him just to then bring it up in every argument thereafter. He will start to resent you. Number 18, if you love him, love his flaws too. Number 19, saying I'm sorry and actually meaning it is a major turn on for him. Number 20, accountability builds his trust for you. Number let her cook. Hey, you know what? Well, let her cook. I like her. Let her cook, yes. boy. We got to say amen to the church. So you know what? I agree with all 20 of those. All, yes. T, amen. You agree, T. I agree. All 20. All 20. Now, I, I mean, that. Look, I, look. I don't disagree with nothing she just said. Thank you. Thank you. What was her name? What was, that, hold up. What was her name? Yeah, but well, listen, I'm going to make sure that, that I'm going to put it in the description okay. so that they can, can, can always. Go back to the original video, Child but when I tell you right there, she was cooking. She was yes, cooking she with, was. Definitely with fish single. grease, boy. There's no way she is single. <laughs> no, there's no way. There's yeah, I mean, no but way. you see, a lot, a lot of these modern women don't know. That's how you get a man for a real man. I ain't talking about none of these little boys out here. I'm talking about a real man. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah. Not not the boys that's trying to act like or that's the uh, man adult age, but, nah. yet, but at the same time, it's like a little boy in that body. Like nah. I can't stand, can't stand meeting men like that. Nah, nah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Listen. man, you got it. Yeah, man, she was cooking. With Five, that. ten, and fifteen hit. I can't repeat them all. <laughs> I just remember those numbers. Look, they was hit. Look, you can tell you was like, ah. <laughs> ooh, 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 a man is not resp it touched responsible your soul, huh, for you. What she say? Man is not responsible for your uh, for your self empowerment or something. Look, if you Come want on. a traditional man that pays all the bills, that was number ten. Yes, you yep. got you yes. got to be a traditional woman you that wants a traditional yes. woman. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you gotta pay the cost to be Hold the up. boss. We need a repeat on that one. Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna put them all on a T-shirt. We, we, we gotta let them hear that again because I don't think they was prepared next, to hear that one. Next week episode, <laughs> I'm gonna come with all twenty on the shirt. All twenty on the shirt. Yeah. All right, look, the wave. So let's go, man. We gotta go to the comments. Man. Yes, please. Got that. So the com a comment from the villain. I'm confused. Isn't all of these common sense? Now the villain, you no, know. No, I'm pretty sure common you're a smart sense guy. Is not considered common sense. You know, it, it, every com that doesn't mean common yeah. sense takes you being logical. And yeah. what is the one thing that women don't use the most? Uh, women use are, majority are, are, of the time are, are emotion. Not logic? They don't use logic. They use emotion, and that's why that's not common to them because it has nothing to do well, with. Well, I wouldn't life. say that just women alone. I mean, th th that's just common sense. It's just something across the board for both men and women. So I don't, I don't want us to always like segregate men versus women because mm -hmm. that's a trait for everybody. Yeah, but we talking about in the majority, women act off of emotion. Yeah. Yes. Men, men make decision logically the majority of the time. And these days, and we be women, coming across these type of men. It's like, wait a minute, hold they on. Not you, men. you act more catty. Well, yeah, they're 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 not, not, not men. That's not what, real men anymore. That's what I keep trying to emphasize to most women when they talk about oh, this. This man is sassy. This man, they're not men. So when I'm talking about men, I'm talking about men. Those guys, those males, they're male. Because of their chromosomes, but they're not men. So we put them over there, just like you got social classes in life where you got the poor and the middle class and mm -hmm. the upper class. Mm -hmm. There's different yep. classes. They're all we are all males, but a, some of us are just not men. Yeah, and we right. ain't over there. It's with a, big, oh, yeah, it's a yeah. big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Very so, big so wait a minute. Difference. So, T, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. So, at what age or what maturity level do does a woman? You say, you know what? Let me stop thinking with my emotions and start using 
man, common sense. Let me or, let me tell you something or, from my experience. Or logic. There and this go. is not just for me because I know I'm different. So I'm going to just speak for some of the women that I know out there. It yeah. has nothing to do with age. A lot of times it has to do with their experience. There's a lot of times it has to do like what they when they finally get tired and sick and tired. And then you got some women that just don't give up. <laughs> tired they, sick and tired. Look, some women just stay at it because you know what to them is a game. But for me personally, I. I've been out of that a long time. Been out of it a long time, but three you know, months, three months, six months. Come on now. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. You know. I'm just asking. DJ always. So I'm just time. asking what, the, what is what is a long time to you? You know, it's relative to everybody. Years. Yeah. Well, well, you know, you know, T, T be like shit. That's because she's. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. That's that's um, the Queen B right there. It's because she queen probably T. she probably fired a pistol at a couple people, <laughs> so now it's out of her system. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean. I right, look. So, so comment number two from No Tolerance. No Tolerance says, "This is only if you're dealing with a good man, because now here's what I gotta say to No Tolerance." If you displayed those BS traits to a good man, he's not going to deal with you. So how do you know you're not dealing with a good man if you don't display those type I of mean, traits? I mean, at the end of the day, it takes time. You got to learn a person. Yeah. And so, and this is what I say all the time is like, you got to give a person time. When you first meet somebody, you mean that representative. That representative ain't going nowhere in at least six months. So... Give it time. Yeah, Once exactly. after after six, seven, you know, six to whatever months, exactly. you want to. Exactly. That representative is not going to be able to hold that stance, but for so much longer. Be- so I don't know why everybody's always in a rush to just get into something. No, you in a rush because whatever benefits you want. But if you really want it long term, you got to take that time. You yeah. got to take and, that time. And you can't display those piss poor habits that you have, like well. I'm not going to do wifely duties until I find out if he's a good man. Yeah, well, but shit, at the end if, of the day, if, if, if you don't do you, those duties, if, how are you going to find out? Because at the end of the day, it's like he ain't going to want to give in to you. He going to give in to somebody else. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. When you go to get a when you go to get a job, you don't go in the interview and say, "Nah, you know what? I ain't yeah. going to show you my best skills." Yeah. Why? I ain't got the job yet. That don't make sense. Why would I do that? It, it just does not make sense. It, it, it don't work like that. It don't work. It don't, don't work like that. It don't. I mean, hold on, wait a minute. Who in the bed? We got a hold on. We got a new subscriber. We got a new subscriber. Yeah. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a man. Renaco. Renaco. How? Yes. Mr. How? Miss How? Hey, Renaco. Renaco. I mean, welcome to the goddamn party. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the party. I plug in the building. I mean. The pl- plaque step in? Yep. Yes, he's in there yeah. in on, the fucking, building. Come on, man, Mr. Plaque, oh no. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean. Yeah, I mean, Plaque, we need one of those intros, guys. Yes, 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 yes. We definitely <laughs> need one. We 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 need that. We need our hype man back. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, man. So wait, so let's go to one more comment. So one more comment is from Sharif Mona Lisa. The problem is the damage is already done. No, I think no, you're wrong. Sir. That's 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 not true because just like if something's broken, it can be fixed. It's all a, yeah. it's all a mindset. So it's no such thing when the damage is done. So everybody's all now these days want to talk about healing and, and being you know in 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 the moment mm-hmm, or you know intentional. Mm-hmm. No, you you gotta be able to understand. Like, look. This is th- this did not work for me before and how I know it didn't work for me before because I did it with one, two, three, four, five different people and came up with the same result in different bodies. And, and people say all the time, oh, my God, that was the same man in, in three different bodies. Yeah, because at the end of the day, when do you start looking at you? That's yeah. you selecting that person. So you got to fix what's in you first. Yeah, I mean, you at the end of the day, I, I think it's. It, it is a part of be, ha, having self awareness. Number one, and number two, it's a part of healing. Like you, you have to understand that if you are a certain person, you getting a certain type of thing, you got to change it. And I feel like a lot of women, unfortunately, they will tell themselves they've changed because they've changed some, you know, some surface level things about themselves. But they not really dug in deep, and then the worst part is the environment around them. Yep. Don't tell them no. You oh, piece of man. shit, well, girl. Listen, well, you know, <laughs> listen, bro. You know, single women keep 
Women single, single. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And that is the honest, God's honest truth. I can honestly say that because um, just dealing with women or females that are not like me, they'll sit yeah. there and be like, oh, yeah, because he this. And, and they'll sit there and try to, like, give you all the negative stuff about this guy. And so now here you are thinking, like, yeah, he did do that. You know yeah, what? Yeah. F him. You know what? And so here it is. Now she miserable. And now you miserable right along with her when at the end of the day, if you just, all you had to do was have a conversation with the man. There you go. All you got to do is have a conversation. Keep everybody out your business and your relationships. The minute you start putting everybody in your relationships, that's when things start going wrong. Shit go left. Shit Again. Go left. Shit go left. If Hoochie Burger messed up your order two times in a row, <laughs> you ain't going to keep going back to Hoochie Burger and get no food. <laughs> so you can't keep like, telling me that. I'm determined to get this fucking burger right. <laughs> you ain't going to keep telling me Turquavion. Oh, he done oh, did me God. dirty and did me dirty. Turquavion, oh, How many times you going to keep going back to Turquavion if he doing you dirty? It's, it look like a you problem. Man, now. Turquavion get around. Yeah, don't he? He, a busy he, got, he, got, he got like six kids, man. He, look, he got more than that. He be on he the streets. He across the world. Because he got a little Davion, Turquavion, <laughs> Shuquavion. That's a lot of Quavion. Yeah, man. <laughs> this your podcast, y'all. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. And subscribe. And tell us what you think, goddamn. Before we go to the next video, T, I need you to tell us again where can they find us, goddamn it. All right, come on. Like I said before, uh-huh. first off, you're going to find us on YouTube Music. YouTube yep. Music. Okay? Yep. We, you can find us on Amazon Music. Amazon Music. You can yep. find us on Apple Podcasts. iHeart. Radio. We love our heart. Yes. Pandora. <laughs> Pandora. And Spotify. So make sure you Spotify. look us up this join on all those different platforms. You heard the woman, god damn it. Let's go. Yeah, you know I man. Let's go. I see, see, I say it aggressively. You heard the woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, I, that's what I, it, when I yell like that, get them women coochie wet. Woo. Look, I was just about to ask you, why are you Whoa. moving around like that? Like, you having a moment? I'm having a moment. <laughs> Oh Lord! I'm having a verbal seizure. <laughs> <laughs> you get ready for a lap dance. Yeah. This, this, uh, this broadcast. What, yeah. the hell, what the hell you got under that table over there, Lowe's? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Liz, I need you to shut the fuck up, all right? When we done, then you can get out. You go over the table. Face down, ass up. That's the way yeah, we yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you want some of this? You want to end on no, this? I'm going to let you get your shit off. Hold up. Hold up. CJ got some under the table, too, like I'm, that. No, I'm delivered. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. I'm I got to say, I, hold up. Where's, where's my gift? I, I got nothing. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Your own gift. Not oh. in this store. Yeah. Not, uh, not in this studio. Not in this studio. I'm going to check the next door. Studio, yeah, so he outside like this. Yeah, I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on T to come out. <laughs> this your podcast, man. Let's go to the next next video, yeah, man. Let's go. So listen again as you come in, make sure you drop a like, man. Like, let's get subscribe. these algorithm like, up, man. Like, let's get them like, up, man. We go. need to get the twenty thousand subscribers, goddamn it. And man. beyond, we ain't stopping at twenty. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. So we so second video now. I know y'all seen it, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna talk to you two right here. Uh-oh. Have you seen a video of the young lady that got fired from a job? Well, we got it. <laughs> Let's watch it. Let's go. I know, T. I know you see. I it. need. I need to see. It. I you ain't seen it. <laughs> oh. No, she made it. she made it. <laughs> Y'all know team. I'm in my Kisses. my little hermit. I'm like a little hermit. <laughs> <sighs> it's the only day she come outside. <laughs> Shit, man. Yo, bro, how's your you day, really bro? Was, yeah. My day, your day is good. Really, 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 really. Yeah, man. Hey. It's this John podcast. Oh. Let's go. Okay, can you? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't. What, can you say that again? Um. Yeah. Hi, Tatiana. This is um Shelly from HR. From HR. Remember okay. Me? No, I don't remember you. But what's going on? Well, we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about your absenteeism and tardiness. Okay. Do you know what time you have to be clocked in at work? 6 o'clock. 6 a.m. Okay. So, unfortunately, on 718, you clocked in at 612. Wow. We had a discussion about that. 12, 12 minutes. Yeah, but, you know, the, they're waiting on you to be there it clocked in and ready to work at 6. Okay. Okay. So... So your employment is really going to be terminated as of today because also on 728, you clocked in at 621. 21 minutes. Yes, that's 21 minutes of company time. 
but I still, I still work though. Like I still like, why didn't y'all tell me that today when I was just at work? Because I handle all the HR, so they wanted me to call you because we had that discussion, remember about. And that was the day topic. that I let my, I, all right, keep going. So you were also on 8-8, you clocked in at like 6-32. That was it. Okay, so I let my cousin use my car the night before, and he didn't bring it. He overslept or something. He didn't bring it back till the morning. So, like, I still that made it, though. was literally, like, nine days after we talked. So, and then on eight twelve, you just did a no-call, no-show. That was my birthday. August 12th, that's my birthday. Like, I already you told you. You that day off work, though. But, y'all, you that's my birthday. I'm not. Birthday. No, I'll, no, that's fine. All right. Everyone okay. works on their birthday. Even I worked on my birthday. Mm, Y'all too grown so. for me. Well, unfortunately, okay. I just need you to turn your keys in. And your I'll be there tomorrow because that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. Like, what? Like, what? What? No. <laughs> wow. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down. Whatever. <laughs> she hold on. Wait. Wrong. She was, hold up. Uh, she hold up. Hold up. Hold up. She was confused that. She my got fired, my cousin had but my I'm sure card she was already the, on probation. My co- my cousin had my car that day, and I don't know what happened. <laughs> eight twelve, that was my birthday. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't coming in on eight twelve. Okay, girl, schedule yourself <laughs> off. Request off. Request you got off. PTO? That's all you got. Re- request request off. Ain't no. What you mean? No call, no show. That was my birthday. What? Did y'all don't care? This chick got don't care? Cra- is crazy. <laughs> Do she not know her attendance is? A reflection oh of her work, no, no, her listen. professionalism. I mean, this is what you what you contracted to do when you went when you wanted that job, and they told you this is your shift. This, yes, yes, that is your shift. Yes, like okay, like me, I'm the type of person I'll get to work like 20 minutes early because I don't mm-hmm. like to get to work and just start immediately. I want to, you know, re, you know, gather my thoughts, unpack myself, and then I'll get into the, all that stuff. But. If they have a conversation with you, at least try. But you constantly You're, being late and then you got excuses and then being able. But the like, thing is, you know, she was already on probation from the conversation that the HR lady had right. with her. She said we had the conversation and yeah. then you was late again nine days later. She said that's nine days later. <laughs> Literally, the disrespect. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. Yeah, I'm, 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 let me look into the camera. <clears throat> I'm speaking to my people in this. Okay, <laughs> we got we got to get it together. Okay, first of all, the fact that you videotaped that is diabolical in itself. You got fired on your day off or after you got Craig. off work, right? Because she said I was just at work. Yes, Craig, guys, number one. Yes, Craig, <laughs> number two. You knew this. You knew your ass was clocking in 12, 21, 42, 68 minutes late. You should have took your ass to work. Now, again, if you gave Turquavion, no you should have never gave Turquavion your car <laughs> the night before. No, no, you got to go to work. That, that, that don't make sense to me. You know you got to go to work. You know he don't work. <laughs> so you know he going to take your car and not bring it back on time. Or have and then, him drop you off and I'll, then let him go do whatever he got to do with your car. The only time you should take off for your birthday is if your birthday is on July 4th, December 25th, or one of them other national holidays. <laughs> if you don't have PTO. Right. Okay? Stop doing dumb stuff. Just stop. Like, if you got PTO, my thing is, is like, I know people, like me personally, I probably need to start taking more time off just in general because I know I'm at work a lot. But, you know, if you are going to, if you're the type of person that wants to enjoy your birthday and do whatever, go go away, Put that time in in advance. Yeah. Your birthday comes the same goddamn day every year. Yeah. Well, you know, how, how much notice? Do, look, let them know. Okay, you know what? Two months in advance, I'm going to be off this day. Well, it's about being an adult. If you're accepting money, responsible. If you're accepting money from another person. You got to listen to that person. Accountability, you know what I'm accountability this this, is key. How this you ain't your be company. Mad? How this you want to be mad? Like at the end of the day, if it was her company, she would probably want to do the same thing to a, an employee. Oh hell yeah, because what? she paying. Exactly. Listen, she paying for the employee. Account- the employee knows me can tell you like my work ethic is probably second to none. I'm, I'm when I tell you I literally can outwork anybody. I can outwork anybody. I'm I can be up at seven and I just went to sleep at three. Like that's me. And so I instill in my children. That's why I don't let them take a oh at the end of the year oh they could take the day off. No, right, because when right. you 
you get to the right. workforce, life don't work like that. Exactly. You have to work every day. So I want them to understand you got to go to school every day because you have to. Now, when you get older, it'll translate into that's why you see all these lazy ass people. I know a couple people that I grew up with go to school here and there, go to school here and there. Now you see them as adults and what they doing, they struggling. They right. can't keep a job. They do you, where you, oh yeah, I work, I'm, I'm, I'm down at the Naval Yard now. You like, I just seen you three weeks ago, you was at Save a Lot. Yeah, now you at the, the Naval Yard. Day, you like, the parents, the parents, the, the, work the parents is, is not correcting them. It's like well, how, it, how you it's, yeah you you gotta young. correct them. It's like if you're allowing them to do that, of course that's pretty much what they're going to be accustomed to well, as an yeah, adult. Yeah. Well, before we go to the comment, <laughs> Black talking about <laughs> Black. We see you, Black. Black says, "I don't know about you, but I called out from the parking lot one time, and I caught the bus to work that day." Goodness gracious! <laughs> Why didn't you could have just yeah. walked? Just walk. Let's give it to my man, Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, oh, man. Like, come on, Tatiana. You got to get it. Come on. You got to tighten up. Like, you got to see you got your fresh nails on. Now them nails going to be dusty as hell because right, you can't pay for Right, because she ain't got no job. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. So, let's go to the comments. So, first comment from T. Danny. T. Danny says, 21 and 32 minutes late is a lot. Again, if they took $21 or $32 from your check, you would be pissed. Right. You, like, come on. Man, that's only a dollar a minute. Yeah, dog them. Your, your shift does not change. It's not like you got flex time. Like, if you have flex time, that's different. But still, at the, but at the end of the day, if you know your shift mm -hmm. is six to two, I bet you leaving exactly at two o'clock though. You ain't got no problem leaving. Right. Uh, <laughs> you, right. You're not leaving late. <laughs> you ain't making that thirty-two minutes up at the end of the day. Exactly. I bet you. She, she, probably, she probably leaving at one fifty-nine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you just see her with her nails clacking on her on her uh, on her time sheet. Clack, clack, clack. I'm getting out of here. Uh -huh. Come on, bro. You gotta chill. Uh, she had the time clock like yeah. like, like she about to do a, a, a baton handoff. Right. She looking at it. Ready to go. She like forty-five. 46, 47. I got, I got 15 seconds. Exactly. I got to go. Right, come on, Tatiana. You got to chill. I mean, Tatiana busts it down. <laughs> so, next comment. So, next comment is from Morningstar. So, Morningstar says, parents forgetting their responsibilities and accountability. Right. What did I say? Right. That's what I said. At the end of the day, you got to make the, you got to help it's, create it's, work it, ethic. Right. For it yeah. starts as they teenagers. Don't know. If, if, you, yeah. if you continue to allow them to do that, that's what they want to do because that's what they're accustomed to. Last comment. This last, last comment is from Abria Nicole. What's good, Abria? Man, she sounds like she might be hot. Huh? Hey, no, oh you know what I mean? That's, that's a, that's a Just name. Just somebody's Sometimes, name. Hey, sometimes it be like that. <laughs> so, Abria says, LOL, girl, I'm confused on why you're confused. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Abria. Shout out to Abria. I, I feel the same way. Why are you upset? The lady named four different dates when you messed up. Right. You talking about some, um, I'm confused. Um, yeah. First I mean, I don't work that day. Minutes. I would be embarrassed to even record that. Like, These kids record everything. They, never they, record everything. So yeah. they don't care about nothing. They have no shame. <laughs> They don't care. They don't, they don't they have care, man. No, zero care. Because <laughs> again, recording it is not the part. It's the posting it that's the part. Right. You can record like, whatever what, you want. We would never what, know. What do you think that people, you really think that people is going to agree with you when yeah, your, yeah, your, yes. your employer is sitting there Listen. identifying mm -hmm. dates and times? Social media has allowed those without a voice to be uh, to have, to, a, voice. To have yeah. a voice now. So there is a small minority of people who agree with Tatiana. Yeah, girl, it was only 12. My well, birthday, listen, my birthday is June the 12th. And yes, I'm taking off too. Like, they're going to agree with her. <laughs> and so. I bet y'all all live at home with your mama in her basement or probably the room that you grew up in. And even if you don't, uh, guess what? Well, if not, they will be. <laughs> yeah, I say, you, that unemployment yeah. line will be seeing you shortly. Yeah, and if and not, that unemployment it, yeah. ain't going to give you but so much hey. and for yep. so long. Yeah. This joint podcast, this man. Joint. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. And subscribe. Yes, sir. That tells what you think, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Before we go to the next video, T, as usual, man. T, where can they find us at? Come on, we now. need to run this. We need to run yes, it. Yes, yes. So YouTube Music. Yes, uh -huh. yes. we're gonna start off with the YouTube. YouTube. Uh -huh. we're on YouTube, we're gonna go to Amazon Music. Amazon yep. Music. We're going to go to Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. I Heart Radio. I Heart Radio. Pandora. Pandora. And Spotify. Spotify. Make sure you look for us. This 
D I S. Join. join. You know how they say join. If you ain't from join. Philly, it's Come on, J A W N. Right. Join. Join. Yeah. You heard the woman, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> Next video. You know what? <laughs> uh -oh, no, uh -oh. I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm, I'm, uh -oh. I'm, 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 I'm gonna uh -oh. give him the title. I'm gonna give him the title. You know what I mean? I'm gonna... uh -oh. uh, Somebody got got uh, lost. Uh, yeah, hey. because Why? This, this is shit that you want to just choke somebody up. We got a woman that used a random person's private Tesla charger on his property. What? Yeah, crime. And here's what happened. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. What the fuck? Hi, excuse me, ma'am. Can I help you? Hi, how are you? Oh no, thanks. I'm just charging my car. I see that, but this is my house and it's my charger that you're using. I know. It'll be like twenty minutes. Yeah, but that's really not you can't just pull up to some in someone's driveway. And use their charger. You didn't even ask for permission. I mean, maybe if you knocked on my door and asked me, I would have potentially let you. But you just pulled in my driveway. My wife's about to be home any minute now. You're in her spot. Okay. Well, I'm pregnant. My car's about to die, so I had no choice. And I saw that there was an empty charger. Are you recording me right now? Is that why your phone's up like that? I am recording you because you're on my property, and I'm sorry that your car is about to die, but. You know, there are superchargers that you're supposed to, Tesla will tell you when your car's about to die. I mean. Okay, so you have to stop recording me and stop recording my plates. My husband is an attorney, so you're not going to put this video anywhere. So I'm not sure what you're doing with your phone. How, I mean, do you normally do this? Do you normally pull up to people's houses and use their chargers? Normally my car isn't dying. I had to go to the doctor. My car was dying on the way home. I'll be done in like 20 minutes. It's really not that big of a deal. I mean. <laughs> You didn't even ask for permission. I, I, what? Is it that big of a deal? Were you using it right now? I wasn't using it, but you're in my wife's parking spot. Okay. And can I help you? <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> where are It'll you? be done in 15 minutes. You know, I don't understand the big deal. I understand. Would you like a pregnant woman to be stuck in the road? Uh, no, well, I mean, it's not my problem that you're pregnant. Just because you're pregnant doesn't give you permission to do whatever you want. No, but if there was a charger and my car was about to die, then yes, I was going to charge my car. Are you insane? Can you back man, away man, from my car, you're please? You're in my driveway. I understand that, but can you back away from my car, please? All right, I, I need you to unplug and drive away. Otherwise, I need you to stop recording. I need you to unplug and drive away. Otherwise, I'm going to call the police. Okay, well, I'm okay. going to call my husband, and he's going to... All right, that's fine. You can he's call... Going to press charge. You can call whoever you want. Please, can you please just unplug and, and drive away, please? I need like 10 minutes. Just unplug and drive away, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have the police here. Oh. See, it's not... It, it worked just fine. I didn't you even know... back yourself. I'm not putting it back either. All right. Have a nice day, man. Please do not come back here again. No problem. <laughs> oh, you know... She is crazy. You know you, you, Listen, you know what? <laughs> when I saw that video, I said, you know, let me let me look this shit up to see if it, is this like a, a fake thing or some shit that I don't know. I look this shit happens a lot. What people you be think still that you people could go on somebody's period. private property? That's trespassing. <laughs> yeah. That is trespassing. <laughs> like you're using his electric. Are you paying this man? So I, I don't have an electric vehicle. However, I do know that when people are charging these electric vi uh, vehicles, you got to pay for it in advance. What do you mean? Like, like if you stop at, like, if you go to the airport, you, you don't have to pay for the airport or like a, a <laughs> No, you got to pay for station, the charge. Right? Oh, oh, you're talking about your own electricity. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, if you're at a, at a pump. You got to pay to get, install that shit. Exactly. Well, you got to pay to just to get the charge. It's like gas. Yeah, you pay first, then get the yeah. charge if you're at a public one. Yeah, you got to pay. Wait, hold. You, you still got to pay? Not if it's on my house. So, my house. But, but if you like. I could just hook it up. Go so to a service station or something like that. If you go to a, like a Tesla station. Yeah. You got to pay for Hey. first like gas get the fuck yeah, yeah. it's not as, it's not as and it's, expensive and it's as by gas the, it's but by the time you paying for yeah, the time yeah, you paying for the time 
Oh, oh, boy. yeah. So, okay. like, so it's yeah. like gas, but you just pay. And then those people that, that have those things at their houses, they they pay to get that stuff. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. the hell? That joint, that but then that cheap. goes against yeah. their electric. Thousand dollars. Yeah. What make her think that she could just use somebody's port <laughs> and electricity? Yeah. The Caucasity. Wow. Listen. And she wasn't even Caucasian. Listen, she should have charged her crap the night before. <laughs> Shout out to the OG because it lets you know when it's get when it's dying. Shout out to the OG, Cedric the Entertainer. On well, the Kings of Comedy, he said that white people live by the hope factor. I hope no one is charging their Tesla <laughs> at my house. <laughs> he said, "Black people, we live by the wish creed." I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> I wish, I, mother wish I would come out of my house and see a Karen, Ken, Tyrone, Turquavion. I don't Karen give a damn Ken? who it is. If I come out of my house and you are charging anything, you could be charging your cell phone. You is going to get your ass whiz eyes eyes. You got me messed up. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I done worked all day and I done came out and See you charging those car? I'm a, you know wait, what you want to be Not a cell phone. A I don't care. You could be charging your kids' power bill. You gonna get your ass whooped, okay? And you gonna leave just the four tires because the rest of that car is gonna be burnt up. Look, oh, I'm with you on God. this one. So, CJ, you know how you be talking about like mental health? That chick is missing some marbles because at the be. end of the day, how am I responsible for you being pregnant? Call your husband. She could be at the end of the day. Yeah. Find a charging station. Don't just drive past my house and see a charging port and think that you can park in my private driveway. Like literally, <laughs> she was in his driveway. I don't know. Like, like, the boy <laughs> said, "Can I help you?" She talking about, "No, I'm all right." Uh, like, and then tell him, "I'm going to leave in 15 minutes." I didn't know you were going to tell me when you were leaving. I don't my care house. if she was missing marbles, <laughs> screws, uh, uh, wood. She could be missing whatever she didn't want to be missing. In my driveway, guess she would have. Guess what she would have been? She would have been walking home, right, or catching an Uber because that car would have been mine <laughs> on fire. I wish a mother would. Oh man! So, so let's go to let's go to a comment. So a comment says the comment from Inky. Inky, her attorney husband should have told her about the law, right? Yes. No, her attorney husband probably her thing is is she thinks she can do what she want because her husband probably buys her out of situations that she gets herself into. Well, guess what her her, her attorney husband could do now? Bail her ass out of jail. Bail ass out of jail. Got her locked up. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? bail ass out of jail. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm pregnant. I don't give a fuck. I ain't knock you up. Right. I mean, That's crazy. Get your motherfucking piece of shit car out of my motherfucking driveway and get the fuck Take on. you, your embryo, your car, <laughs> so your you phone. Just, she just using everybody's stuff. So you just drive past or just one day it's hot and you like, you know what? I want to get in somebody's pool. She you want to get in somebody's pool? She just ain't met the oh right person. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ain't right. She ain't wrong. She, she, she pulled Let up on. Let me tell you something. You she, on my property. She pulled Whatever up on. Whatever happens, um, I ain't look. Dylan or... Or Bill or one of them. She ain't pull up on Rhonda. Just right. Nah, right. Rhonda would have tore that ass yes, up. Yes, she sure would. Uh -huh. All right, so next comment. Next comment is from Penn. So Penn says, this is so obvious it's stage. It better be. It better I don't, be. You know what? I don't know, Penn. I don't know because it, it, people do so the, people the are most entitled. outrageous, audacious shit nowadays. Yeah, man. they do. So I mean I I don't know it, I, I mean know. it could be but either way it's still a good topic to talk about yeah yeah like you said you just brought up chargers like I I see people literally like just in my travels go into a market or go into a store or to a laundromat and just use their charge their 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 electricity you're not even buy, you're not even a, you're not even patronizing the, the establishment but you want to use their electric for your yeah, phone yeah and, and i know people <clears throat> excuse me you know people just do just do the most outlandish shit I'm, I'm gonna give you two examples one example i got a friend of mine who has a tesla i remember one day we like we we was we was dipping out somewhere and he was going we were going to well, he was going to charge his car. Mm -hmm. oh, so fuck the guy charge your car like a goddamn phone. Well, he couldn't use a charging port because everybody was double parked 
in the the charging spot. The, the charging spot. Mm-hmm. And they wasn't even charging. Oh wow. So I'm like, see. Space. Yeah. See, that's it. You me, I get gas, man. I ain't to worry about that shit. Right. Nope. You know what I mean? I get and then it was another incident. Tow truck. Happened. Yeah, exactly. It was another incident happened to me. I, I was on my way to a, a Phillies game, so I pulled up in Wawa parking lot. Get a I could come out with you no know, got I got my food, I'm ready to get in my car, and this asshole, you know, of the Hole of, yes. yes. of, yes, of the ass. Yes, hole of the ass. Yes, hole of the ass. Decides to park next to me, but he parked so over close. the yellow line, and I couldn't even get in my car. You know what that happened Mind to me you, last Mind you, I'm night. going in every restaurant in the plaza. <clears throat> hey, who the who Not the F truck is this right here? Not me. Oh, that's my say, man. If you gonna move your shit, man, I can't get my. Oh, well, Not I'm me, sorry. boy. I would have won. Look, and it's, it's, grease, it's funny because for years, I guess because I always drive a truck though, but for years, I always take up two spots. But I'm the type of person, I don't have to park right in front of the store. I don't mind walking. So I'll yeah. park far away because I know how I park. Last night that happened. I come out from where I was at to put something in my truck and then the car was literally so close I couldn't even get in. I had to go from the passenger side, crawl the <laughs> hell over. See, I ain't doing all that. But you I know am. what? But see, but see, my thing is, it's like... You gonna move your shit. I've had people, multiple people in, in multiple vehicles that I have hit my cars, leave, don't say nothing and at the end of the day I have to be the one responsible yeah. for, for fixing this stuff. So this is why I do stuff like that. So last night I'm pulling the car out and then I moved it to the other side of the, the parking lot. And as I'm doing it, the girl, I guess whoever was in the car in the passenger side, oh my God, do you got to swing it like that? You almost hit the door. <laughs> you know what? Tell your friend they shouldn't have parked that damn. I couldn't get nope. in my, I could not get in my driver's side. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Not me. I would have, I would have gladly hopped into that, that passenger side and I would have gotten to that driver's side. Put that thing in reverse. Pow! Get out of there. Now, well, you, now you got a big ass scuff for your car because well, I couldn't get in my goddamn driver's seat. I couldn't do that because I, I was, was literally she just. She was in the passenger. By the time she would have got the girl and then got in the car, I'd have been going. Look. I'd have scraped the whole joint. I would not have mind doing that if I didn't have to stay. I was literally just oh. starting what I was doing. Oh, so shit. I couldn't do that. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I mean, I would have packed up and went somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm out. <laughs> Now, 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 I see you won't cl- park close to nobody else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, parking. You're not going to be parking over, there, look, over the yellow line. And look, I'm a getaway driver, so ain't no way in the world you catching me. Yeah, I know. You see? Look at that. Here over here. Here over here. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. Grand, Grand Theft Auto mean over here. All right, look, look. Let's go to one more comment. So one more comment from Annie Will Diaz. So Annie Will Diaz says, I would turn off the breaker. Smart. Now, I don't know. Now, of course, I'm, I'm sure you can do that. Yeah, because they're going to. And that's smart. Yeah, because uh, the charges is on like a 220 line. So they got their own line. Yeah, and they, oh, they and you could just, you just, just go cut it off the breaker. Now, now, yeah. Now, Karen, take my damn uh, charger off. Waddle your, your ass back in your car and keep it yeah, moving. Yeah, but see, people shouldn't have to do that if that's private property. Like, that's just common sense. But then again, we just said common sense isn't common. Yeah. What makes you think or give you the audacity to to drive your car on someone's private property? But you know what? I mean, but I'm sure if it is real, that guy or that family is going to start cutting off their shit from the Probably breaker. from now on, especially, yeah. Especially if no one home is. You see somebody I would have said, you know what, Karen? Or just turn it on, and that might be an inconvenience, but sad, but in situations Some like that, just turn it on I when said, you're about to use it. You know what, Karen? This is normally where my family puts our uh, porta potty when everybody's just outside playing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I have to take a dump. You know, I took a dump <laughs> on the top of our car. Oh, you're in the you're in the porta potty spot. Sorry, that's where that's normally where we put it. At. I yeah. came out naked with all this chocolate rubbed on me. Can I help you? Oh you here for the appointment? <laughs> yeah, hey, you here for an appointment? Yeah, best. Oh, with the chocolate syrup all yeah, on me. Best. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you charging? Oh, you your get, oh, you trying to get charged up, huh? <laughs> you want to come inside and wait? <laughs> I can charge you up in here too. Yeah, man. That's your podcast, man. It's your. Yeah, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, oh, y'all. Tell us what you think about that. So, uh, the T. Yes. We're going to the next one, T. Okay. For the newcomers that just came in, tell us where they can catch us at. Where we at? All right. For anybody new that just joined us, we want to start off with YouTube. Since we're on YouTube, so you can catch us on YouTube Music. YouTube Music. You can catch us on Amazon Music. 
Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Mm-hmm. iHeart Radio. Our radio. No. Pandora and Spotify. Pandora and Spotify. So, as you know, our channel is called This Join. Join. So, all those channels are named exactly the same. Just look us up. This Join. Podcast. And we right there. You, you can hear us while you're driving. Yeah. You know, if you can't watch us while you're working or whatever, just listen to us. You know, I mean, you hey, know, you make a love to you. Yeah, I was about to say, you make a love to your, 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 your girl, your man. Oh lord, as, you know what I mean? as my guy El uh, Plago say, if you getting into that twat waffle, <laughs> <laughs> throw us one, throw us on one of them, yeah. them DSP. Yeah, <laughs> listen to us, goddamn. We, yeah, you know what I mean, <laughs> we gonna get it in while you get it in. Yeah, exactly. Oh, gracious. <laughs> oh man, next video, y'all. Subway. What's up with your subway? So let's watch as this subway employee prepares sandwiches in the most unusual way. Uh oh. I don't even want to know. No, exactly. I want to know. He's dealing with food. I'm scared. You know, we got had a food video. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's go. The subway video is going viral and people are canceling subway after this South Asian man was seen preparing turkey slices with his unclean bare feet right in front of everyone. What the hell? Oh my God, no way, yeah, yeah. This happened in downtown Chicago on Ohio Street where customers complained about the South Asian man with the dirty feet, but the employees acted like it was normal. I'm having a really hard time with him. I This started a revolution against Subway, and people started leaving one-star reviews stating that this shouldn't be allowed in America, and if this what happens in the open, then what happens behind closed doors. I don't mean to be a problem, but that's just really, I'm sorry. I love you. With many people commenting on Subway TikTok to address this matter, but Subway hasn't made a statement yet. Are we still eating? Are we still eating here, bro? Crazy. Hell no, we ain't still eating how the hell, there, man. How the hell he still got a job? He's probably the manager or some shit. They, no, I don't know. They're yes. like independent franchises. Like you can franchise. So them. what? First of all, how are they even making money? Like I don't understand why people still in. Oh, oh my god, my, I, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> she, what, she, she triggered y'all. I don't. She's condone, triggered. Listen, <laughs> I don't condone violence. I really don't. I'm a very peaceful man. But I would have socked his ass, and then I would have socked all the rest of them in there for letting him be have his big, dumb, dirty feet ass up on the counter. I would have socked him first, and then for the rest of them, let it would. I just went down the line. Bop, 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 I, could, bop. I couldn't. I couldn't work there because how the nothing. hell you gonna sit there and in in the establishment has to be clean and sanitized. That that goes for employees too. The dirty like, ass. Like employees techies. have to be like how the hell. Obviously, he's been walking around on the floor with no shoes on but now you got your feet on the countertop and making a fucking sandwich oh my god yeah no he had uh, no gloves on and he was just oh hand, my he god. was handling the meat and everything <laughs> no and I, I, I i'm not trying to be disrespectful when i say this i swear i'm not but if you ever watch them super ray videos <laughs> it's a certain group goop of scoop. people that be making the goop scoop <laughs> and he looked like he fit, the, he fit the description of the goop scoopers i don't so, care because I mean, this is why people, this is why he's probably is, making a goop scoop subway sandwich. Oh no! <laughs> Shout out to Super <laughs> Ray. <laughs> so look, that contamination from his feet, from his dirty feet, is how people get sick. <laughs> Yeah, that's that ain't a subway funny. scooper. <laughs> you ready? Can you ready? You taking a bite of your tuna, your tuna sub? No. And you got a, a and fucking toe down. I'm about to say, you, you First bite of this. All, I you think it's a crouton? Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Hell no. You think you bought a bit of crouton? You're like, wait, Subway don't <laughs> sell. They don't sell salads? <laughs> you a bit of damn toe down. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do Come it. Yeah, that motherfucker sat between your teeth like popcorn. Somebody put a toothpick in the middle of the sandwich? I couldn't do it. It's supposed to go on the top. Department, please. Yo. Health department, please. Health department. I would have been like. Uh, How'd it be everybody up in the store? Hey, man. Uh, hey, you know, listen, I'm going to tell you. I would have been calling the health department look, so damn fast. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, man. No lie. That is crazy. And That just pissed me and off. I, I'm not trying to be biased <laughs> or anything like that, man. I have stopped going to Subway years yeah. ago. I heard their bread was fake, so that's why. Yeah, I stopped. I stopped going to Subway years ago. Subway. subway, every Subway in Philadelphia 
seems fucking dirty. <laughs> well, that might that might every ex- subway oh, people be that might explain dirty, why man. all the all the goddamn subways are closed now because I don't even think there's any more subways left. Yeah, nobody, well, it'd be all the homeless. You people. walk by, you walk by any subway in the city of Philadelphia, that motherfucker's empty. <laughs> you never. The last time I've been to subway was three years ago, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I stopped going because I ordered a sandwich. And and you know how you put your credit card in the little swipe thing, right? So I hit no tip. She, she gonna look at me talking about, are oh, you not gonna tip? <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> did you did you bring me my sandwich? Did you bring this shit to my house? <laughs> you know what I mean? I walked into your establishment and I ordered a oh fucking sandwich. Gosh. I got a tip. Man. Fuck no. That was the last time I went to Subway, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Subway, look, listen, and. You take it any way you want to fucking take it. I stopped going to Subway. I stopped going to 7 Eleven. I still bang with 7 Eleven, but KFC, I, I can't go there. Oh, it's man. Not yeah, that many, I, yeah. And, it's and, not and that KFC. Many 7-11s I been, no more either. Why why done took over? Yeah. Why why done yeah, took over? Because I'm. Every subway you go to, every Seven Eleven, uh, the floors know, seem I've, dirty. I've, I've never gotten. I never. I never liked Subway for some reason. The times that I would go in there, I don't like the smell. And I was just having this you're conversation. With, homelessness. I was just having this conversation <laughs> with CJ earlier. It's like I'm the type of person if I look at something and I don't like the way it look, I'm not gonna eat it. You got a homeless motherfucker back making you a sub. Yeah. <laughs> you want onions on this? Here, look at you will smell. You grab it on you. <laughs> you smell it, the broad ridge spur smoke. <laughs> That's what you smell it. The market, you smell it, market Frankfurt log smoke. That's what uh, can I get the past young special? <laughs> can I get the Kensington and Allegheny? <laughs> Yo, let me. <laughs> yo, man, this is your podcast. Let, let's go to the comment, man. We, uh, yo, we need to stop, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Subway, stop it. Y'all got my face hurt. <laughs> so, so one comment from Dan. Dan says, "Bro, still think he's in Bangladesh." Hey, listen, no, it is. No, no they don't. They the they the they the Goop Scoop Capital. <laughs> if you don't know what Goop Scoop is. Please go to Super Ray on Instagram. He will show you what the goop scoop is. I'm gonna make you throw this up. This, this ain't this ain't this ain't there. This is United States. Man. We don't do that here. Yeah, but the shit about they still stand in line. I know. Like, I would have walked in and I would have walked I'm right the fuck back out. With him. He can make every like sandwich not- in here. Guess what I'm not doing? <laughs> yeah. Buying one, buying, one, buying one, one of them. I'm not eating it. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking the hell out. <laughs> you motherfucker, your dirty ass calluses feet oh, on the goddamn God. counter, and you ain't got no gloves on, you oh. nasty bitch. I would have took a bottle of hand sanitizer, took the top off, and just <laughs> do it. <laughs> no, how about just get a hose, water hose, just hose yeah, it hold it down, them dirty ass feet. So, Josephine Hudson, Joseph, Josephine says. If he can do this in the open, imagine behind closed oh doors in the gosh. kitchen. He probably I'm, I'm, I listen. can imagine the last time he washed his hands. Probably yeah, never. his hands. He didn't probably found some of the rats that be in the bag and oh. brought them in there. Gave him some food. Oh. That, that's what I'm saying. Y'all better stop playing with Subway, man. <laughs> imagine how long it's been since he's washed. You got. You, I bet his hygiene is like off. Ew. He was in there doing Ew. his heel toe on them feet. <laughs> And he was in the he was in the open. He was in the open like Like but I don't understand how the employees just walking around like it like they don't see it. It's like That's they cousin. Uh, oh care. shit, I was about to say that. If they cousins. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, right. So comment from a funny videos for entertainment only. How you doing? Are we going to are we going to ignore the fact that they still ordering food from exactly. Exactly. Yeah, there it is. Exactly. That's just nasty. So basically you just like your actions is telling him it's okay by you buying that damn sandwich. Soon I'm not I ordering a his, damn thing. His dirty ass feet having scruffy beard, <laughs> tight I don't even khaki have to wearing see that. ass to on see, that thing. The fact to see I'm him out. sitting on the damn countertop making a sandwich, I'm walking out the door. That's when I wish the young boys would have came in and did some uh, flash mob stuff. <laughs> go ahead, go flash mob in there, y'all. Go ahead, go take care of that. Cause he doing the most. Right. He, he doing it, yeah. Right. Hey, leave that man. Leave some way alone, man. Leave some way alone. <laughs> no, Make sure you drop a like, drop a, a comment. His own grave. That's the truth, man. <laughs> Tell us what you 
was what you think, goddamn. Like, comment, subscribe. And subscribe. You heard the woman. Yeah, you know I man. T, where we at? T, where we at? T. One more. We, we 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 got room for one more video. Yeah, we. We just want y'all to know where we at. There you go. <laughs> so we are gonna start with YouTube music, YouTube right? Music. So according along with the, the YouTube videos, you can see us on. Uh, you can hear us on YouTube music. YouTube you can news. also hear us on Amazon Music, Amazon. Apple Podcasts Apple for all podcasts. those Apple Mac people. Okay, mm -hmm. Our Radio for Our the people that like to like listen to the music. Pandora. Pandora. You heard the one. And guess what else? Spotify. Spotify. I like how you say that. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go give go to the massage part. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm ready to tell her, listen, I need you to whistle on me as this ain't Spotify. <laughs> All night long. <laughs> and I want to leave with the happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This your podcast, man. This your yes, I'm talking about. This is what we got, man. Oh. This is what we got. Uh-oh. Yeah, he already said it. That's why he laughing. Uh -oh. That's why he laughing. <laughs> the chase money glitch. I hate, I hate people. Oh, Lord, you Lord. know. We got to talk about the Chase Money glitch. Yeah, please. I'm well, ready for this one. Now, this one I did hear you, about. Yeah, you heard about this one? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, this one guy's pissed off, and he's about to tell us about it, man. Dumbasses. Yeah, I think that's the truth, <laughs> goddamn. Peanut. It's the Stool Podcast. <laughs> Let's go. The more I learn about the Chase Money Glitch, the more pissed I get. See, last night I did some research and saw how it works. All it is is people depositing checks that they wrote with their own name, address, and their account information and deposit it. Now, basically what happens is if you're in good standing with your bank, it'll credit you just the funds, right? And then they verify it and then they go ahead and put money in your account. But this situation, the verification method didn't work. And that's how people got these ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. So you're telling me you're about to be on the run from the law for the rest of your life, looking out the window saying, "Hey, was that car parked there before?" Just so you can get twenty thousand dollars. Keep in mind, if you had a part-time job, you could make twenty thousand dollars. It's not that difficult, and you can get the benefits from that job. But the biggest part that pisses me off is the fact it was just us. You didn't see a white person. You didn't see no Hispanics. You didn't see no Asians doing the glitch. It was just us committing these crimes. It was just check fraud. That's all it is. It's no glitch. It's no, oh, I'm about to get away scot free. It was a glitch that happened with the system of checking if you had the funds. And it was just us. Every video I've ever seen in the search bar of TikTok or Instagram has been about us doing this crime. We have got to do better as a society. Cause boy, we looking bad out here. The masses. <laughs> Dumbass. Hey, you know what? That that ain't nothing but kiting, check fraud. They going to jail, jail. They going to the jail. First of all, <laughs> this is my thing. People, y'all y'all making us look like really uneducated. Because my thing is, is what is the definition of the word glitch? <laughs> It ain't no glitch. It's a temporary what? What they say? Malfunction. Malfunction but at of the, the end system. Of the day, if you know you ain't put that money in there, what makes you think that this this bank is not gonna go back and check things and say, oh, oh let me take my money back? Oh, and then your account you know is negative. You know, and if you got like direct deposit, oh, they oh, taking they all snatching that. it. They're taking all that, they man. They're taking it. all that. Boy, that, that, look, look at bro. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, CJ no, got what, something to what, say. When that nose saw flaring up. <laughs> <laughs> you unstable creatures <laughs> did not learn from the whole PPP loan. Right. Uh, oh, the PPP loan? And, and, and the payday loan scam. All exactly. Keywords. Do you yes. understand? Scam. That is something called the FDIC. That federally insures all accounts up up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So whoever you took the money from, be it Chase or whatever, they have insurance on it. They're going to get it back. And, and guess where your up. dumb ass is going to go? To the federal prison. Because guess what happens when you took that money and you thought, okay, I'm going to have that money. Guess what happens? Even if you say you get away with it, when your stupid ass go. To open a new bank account, hmm. yeah, right. Guess Checks what's going on? Yeah. They gonna look up your dumb ass, right? <laughs> with your dumb ass account that's now negative forty two thousand dollars, and guess what's just gonna cost an audit. 
Exactly. And then they're going to find your stupid ass at Tarquavia House because okay. that's where you live now. <laughs> <laughs> and now guess where your stupid ass going to go? Because Tarquavia, he ain't got no money. Exactly. You ain't got no money. <laughs> where the hell your ass And now both of y'all broke and, asses. And people don't be thinking. Going to jail. It's they just, don't think. Like, come on. Think long term. Come on. This is they, everybody want that short term easy money. You get the, some Lululemon credit. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ball out. Whatever. <laughs> You don't mess with one entity, two words, federal government. You, and you made You're a key point. Yourself. You made a key point. This is the reason why with those PPP loans, why now in the year 2024, us business owners have to do these BOI reporting forms. Yeah. Because of y'all dumbasses. Yeah. You know what kills me? You know what kills me? Obviously... The younger generation didn't learn from us older generation because I mean we did that, we did the little, but not like kiting. this. Nah, this we ain't doing no forty thousand shit. We did it just keep the fucking light bill on. <laughs> <laughs> they doing yeah, stupid they ain't doing stuff. too much. But you know what we also didn't do. Yeah, get post that shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, about to go get that Audi 2025. Yeah, y'all see the ice? You see the ice? Yeah, y'all, y'all can't touch me now. 40,000 on y'all. Yeah. What's it doing? None of that dumb 40 stacks on your head. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's called Chase Bank because y'all going to have to chase me. Yeah. Come on, man. Just going stupid stuff. Yeah, get on my nerves. Oh, man. Oh, boy. my God. Hey, listen, that, that, that's what he's doing. Let's go to the comment. So, first comment from Casey. So, Casey says, they did it. They just didn't post it. That is exactly. true. That's, yep. that's the truth. Yep. Yes. Don't think that it was just us. No, they was definitely in there. They just smart enough not to be like little Nuck Nuck and them. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so next comment from Batman. Batman says, I have more than 30,000 in my account. If I go to Chase, they won't give me my money, but they only give me so much cash. Well, right, because banks don't have all of the money that, if we all go to Chase, say Chase is around the corner, and say out of all of our accounts, it equals up to 1.6 million or something. Chase ain't got that sitting in the bank and around the corner. It, 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 yeah. It's true. That money I comes in it. and it goes back out. So yeah, yep. they ain't gonna be able to give you 30,000 like this. Like everybody knows that. So, so yeah, no, I had that I, situation not too long ago. My bank was like, look, when you need to withdraw this type of money, you gotta let us know. Like, yeah, you got in the yeah, advance. Yeah, sure. Like, well, obviously means. what they were doing was, they would probably write a check for like forty, fifty thousand, and but then every day they would probably take out a thousand, mm -hmm. another thousand, another thousand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I know probably you can only get like I know my bank, I can only get like about a two thousand, twenty five hundred a day mm -hmm. if I go through the ATM. Mm -hmm. But if I go through the bank, I could probably get like about right. five thousand something like that. That's probably the max. Yeah, and see what I was doing was I was getting it in like one day here and then two days later yeah, and it was like yeah. they was thinking it was fraud I'm like wait a minute the money is in my account what do you mean like just give me but according to them it's like we don't keep that type of money we need On to hand. know yep. 24 days in advance yep. Right. Yep. that's why that's why most people who do big transactions especially stuff like real estate and stuff like that that's what the wires are for right because yep. it's easy to transfer it's literally we just transfer numbers we ain't as money's never moving it's just a number that's going yep. from here to there so that's why they do it that way because yeah if you're doing a big transaction 20 30 40 thousand we don't have that much cash you right. think a bank but let's 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 think people don't this. think that way they think you okay, think yeah, a because bank it's the bank in the middle got of the goddamn hood money. in philadelphia <laughs> it's gonna be sitting around with millions in there <laughs> with a bunch of starving dummies that's in, that tried to chase bank you think they ain't gonna go down to uh, first of all you got Juanita's people, bank and steal her money like come on people sorry. watch too much tv and you know now these tvs and these movies they make it seem like these banks have all this money in these little uh in the safes and in the in the um what is it in the uh the safe deposit boxes yeah. and stuff like that and people yeah. think they can just oh yeah yeah you know let me just get this no it's, it's not that simple mm, yeah. if it's a if it's a uh popeyes uh 
if it's a Popeyes, a Family Dollar, or <laughs> a Poppy store in your neighborhood, the bank around there, trust me, they ain't got but too much money. <laughs> right. So, you know, I'm you just know, being honest. Well, well, you know, those banks are the check casting stores. That's so. right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They use they use check casting places and and what the fuck is what 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 the shit all the all the kids be using cash what? app oh, cash, cash app, app. Cash oh, app yeah. to wire money you know what i mean they, and they, I don't they even think trust that that's a bank account like that like if i do is is it's not that much like maybe to like pay a vendor or something like that or a contractor but i don't, I don't, I don't nah, trust cash no nah, no nah, that shouldn't be your bank Mm-mm. so let's go to one more comment before we get up out of here so last comment from alex maldonado <laughs> what's worse and or funnier is that they record themselves doing it. Exactly. <laughs> little nuck, nuck, exactly. Little, little nuck, I got that Chris style. Nuck, nuck. I'm going, got the new keys to the bands. And that 40, stuff is permanent. <laughs> it's permanent. Like, like the minute you post it, I don't care if you deleted it. Somebody done screenshotted it, it screen recorded it. Like, come on. It's permanent. <laughs> if you ever talk Dummies. to anybody who's like a computer engineer or software engineer, they always tell you the data doesn't go anywhere. It don't. You yeah. can delete it, but guess what? In somewhere deep down, there's somebody that can yep. extract that. Yep. So for the fact that y'all put all this stuff on there, and we already know the police got a page, yep. so the FBI and got a page, yep. everybody everything. got a page. They watch. So it's everything. like they watching it all. Stop being retards, big dummies. Yeah, that's right. No, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this your podcast, this your man. Podcast. Yeah, man. Hey, where we at? You know what? I think we might have reached the end. Yeah. Bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>